Hi and welcome to Peacemake TV. In today's video for Lightroom we're going to be taking a look at snapshots. Now snapshots are a great way of being able to try out multiple different type of effects on your photographs and then you can quickly and easily switch between each of those different versions without having to save alternative copies out. So let's take a look at how we can do all that right now. So let's start off by going through and editing this photograph using one kind of idea that I have, which is a desaturated version. So I'm just going to quickly run through, make those changes. So we've got a different version from the original. So I'm just going to simply bump the clarity up to give us a bit more detail in the architecture, bring the vibrance right the way down. I just want just a hint of color in there. The same with the saturation, just so we're getting a hint of color. Bump the contrast. Use the highlights, bring those down a bit. Bring a bit of detail that we've kind of lost in the sky back up. And the same with the shadows. Just want to darken things down where need be, and lighten things up where I want them to be lighter. So we'll say, okay, there's one version of the image, and I kind of quite like where I am with it. So what I can do now is I can take a look over on the left-hand side in the develop module. And you can see we have the history, which will show us all of the different things that we've done. Each of the different steps, each adjustment is listed there. Above this, we have snapshots. And currently, there's nothing in there. So if I click on the plus on the right-hand side of snapshots, you see it gives me the option to create a new snapshot. I click on that, and as you can see, it pops up a dialog box and automatically puts in a date and timestamp, which obviously doesn't really mean a lot, so we can name this something else. So let's call this one Desaturated Version 1. So... There's my first version, so I click, click Create. You can see now we have desaturated version 1 listed in there. So now I can come back in and say, right, I'm going to make some changes to this now. I'm going to try a different version of it. I want to come down. I'm going to go to my lens correction. I'm going to enable both of those to correct a lens distortion and chromatic aberration. Come to Effects. I'm just going to give it a little bit of dehaze to sort of give it a bit more punch. And we'll take and put... A vignette around it to give it quite a dramatic look and we'll make some alterations then in the highlights sorry in the shadows and the whites and things just to bring out the detail in there a little bit so there we've got another version and as you can see the history state is updated now if I click on create another snapshot and we'll call this desaturated version 2 I now have two alternative versions that I can switch back and forth between and you'll see if I take my mouse over any of those names take a look at the top where we've got the preview you'll see it'll switch and show us what each one of those looks like if I click I can then jump back to that and you can see I've got the original version and I can click and show the second version so this is a great way of being able to create multiple different versions of the same image without creating copies of each of those images so if I wanted to I can simply come up to file and I can export that and I can export that with the settings we currently have and if I want to, I can simply come back down to desaturate version 1 and I can easily go up and I can go to file and I can export that as well. So I've got one image, two different variations or as many as I want to create and I can output those individually, all those different versions. Now let's take this one step further. It's fine if you think I want to create a snapshot at this point in time. But what happens if you've gone through a few steps and you think, actually, I wish I'd saved a snapshot three or four steps back? Well, we can do that by using the history panel. So again, if we take a look on the left hand side where we've got the history section below snapshots, I can come down to any point in time, any point that I've created or any point that I've got a step in my history and I can right click and I can create a snapshot at that point. So if I wanted to, I can actually come down and where I've just adjusted clarity and vibrance, I could right click and say create a snapshot. If I wanted to, I can click to see exactly what the image looked like at any of these points in time as I make those alterations. So I can step through it one bit at a time. And at any point in there, I can right click and say create a snapshot. If I click, I get the same thing. Only difference is now instead of a timestamp, it pulls up and gives it the name of exactly what that step was or that alteration that I made in my history. So we'll call this one history snapshot. If I could spell history, history snapshot, and hit create, we now have a third snapshot, this time created from our history panel. 
So again, we can come up and we can click on any of these and view the image at that particular point in time. And we can do whatever we want with that image. We can output it and so on. On top of that, we have some advanced features that we can use in the snapshot panel itself. So if I come over to any of these states that we've created, these snapshot states and click, I can also right click now and have some additional options. So you can see that if I want to, I can rename this. I can update with the current settings. So let's just say, for example, I make some changes to this. So let's just say I don't want this history snapshot, for example, to be so desaturated. So let's just give that a bit more color. Let's actually make that highly saturated and a little bit crazy. And we'll come down to effects and we'll just make some adjustments just so we can see exactly that there's a big difference between those. So now if I come over to history snapshot and right click on there, I can say update with current settings. And that will now update that particular snapshot to the way that the image looks right now and overwrite the previous version. So this is a great way of not having to delete a, history, a snapshot that you don't want to use and then create a new one from it. We can simply right click and just click on update with current settings. Obviously, if this now no longer makes any sense because we say history snapshot, we could say, well, let's rename that and we'll call this one saturated. So that now makes a lot more sense. As you can see, that's now changed the name of it to what we've just given it. Alternatively, if we want to, we can simply come down and we can click on delete to get rid of that and that will remove it from our snapshot section. So that's how we can use snapshots in Lightroom. I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's something you can make use of in your editing sessions in Lightroom. If you did find this video useful, hit that subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. If you do enjoy the tutorials we put out on this channel, please consider popping over to Amazon where you can purchase the new ebook we released on the Kindle store, Eight Essential Adobe Lightroom Techniques, where we go into detail about different techniques that every Adobe Lightroom user should really have in their arsenal. The link is in the description below and your support is much appreciated. Well, until next time, take care.